I just got married, so that's big. Yeah. I know, why, wow, you're so young. I get a lot of that, yeah. You're a fresh-faced kid of 43. Why rush in when you know you know? That's what I'm saying. I don't understand men who bitch about being married, you know? Mostly like male comedians are like, oh, I'm married. It's like, do you recognize the fact that you're wearing a hockey jersey and basketball shorts, you pile of crap? <laughs> like, you're no prize, man. Men always think they're so amazing. I don't, what were you missing out on? Were you gonna be taking like a platinum cigarette boat through oceans of hot tail? I don't think you were, Trevor. <laughs> I don't think that was gonna happen. Like, my wife's the best thing that ever happened to my, me in my life, man. Like, I love her so much. She's the best thing ever happened to me. And she's a jerk. <laughs> like, she's huge. She's so mean, man. I call her Donna Rickle. She's got so many zingers. Like, remember that kid you grew up with that, like, would knock you in the crotch and you would laugh? I married that guy. <laughs> like, my, my wife, we were having dinner with another couple whom I did not know. And this gal was like, so you guys gonna have kids? And my wife looks at me and goes, I don't know. Kinda want a kid with a chin. I'm right here, <laughs> you bitch. I love you, that was a hot burn. Good one, good one. My name is Matt Bronger, she calls me Fat Donger. That's for real. <laughs> Yells it across Ikea's. Donger, Fat Donger! <laughs> Everyone turns. Guy next to me is like, your name is Fat Donger? I'm always like, yep, and just walk away and let the Donger <laughs> legend grow. She's the first woman to ever call me bro. Like, I don't know why that stings, but it does, right? Like, that's a free one for you ladies. There's this guy like messing with you, hitting on you in a bar, or someone yelling at your work. Just wait for him to run out of steam and be like, you done, bro? Oh, it'll burn his ass! <laughs> and she picked the right time to debut that particular chestnut. But I was like, have you got an hour to that party? Want to have sex? She's like, on oh, my period. Sorry, bro. Ha -ha! <laughs> Did not see that left hook coming. You know? Just good at it that way. We're, we're all alone. I can just admit something privately right now, yeah? Okay, great. I am not good at weed. Not good. I know it's amazing out there right now, and like, I'm just, I can't, I've been practicing the dojo my whole life. Cannot get past the white belt. Cannot. Like, I started early. Like, how old were you first time you got high? 18. You're 18 now? Don't say anything. All right. <laughs> Andy, how old are you first time you got high? Uh, probably 16. 16, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Nine years old, fourth grade. <laughs> Thanks, Portland, Oregon. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> Went over to this kid Jeff's house. He was in fifth grade, much cooler. <laughs> Jeff had what you call cool parents, which just means bad parents. That's all that means. <laughs> like, don't be too cool of a dad, man. Don't be that dad that's just like, what are you, 10 now? Grab a beer. I don't want one, dad. <laughs> Dad, screw that, call me Rusty. That kid's not growing up right. <laughs> we went over to Jeff's dad's house. Man, he, there had jars of twisted joints on the shelves, like Lord of the Rings pickles, just everywhere. <laughs> Within child's reach, so we used our child reaches to pull one down, and we got high, and all I remember is we were crying laughing over the idea of sending someone a Domino's pizza box with no pizza in it. <laughs> Like, what a great prank. Like, that's what's great about weed. It makes you laugh at anything. But now, you can bespoke your high. You can walk into, like, a legal weed store and be like, yeah, I want to feel like Road Warrior, but relaxed. Right this way, sir. Right this way. <laughs> and my thing is, I want to be cool. Resist that, young people, all right? Like, I, if, if there's someone cool and young and they hand me one, I'll take it. Like, I worked on a show that was set in a dispensary. And after we wrapped, everyone whipped out joints the size of baguettes, right? <laughs> and this young black millennial, the coolest of all millennials, don't fight me, was like, hey man, you smoke? And I was like, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> As I'm reaching for it, every cell in my body's like, no, you're not good. Cause for me to take that dinosaur toe and smoke it is just like, me walking past a skate park at my age and being like, give me a board. Come on, give me a skateboard. You guys still call this a half pipe? My neck! Like, same thing. Don't move me. Because I hit it and was like, ah! Because ah! that's the thing about a weed freak out. It's inside. No one knows you're losing your mind, right? Every other drug, you show the freak out. Acid, you rip your clothes off. You're probably peeing, right? 
cocaine, you're bleeding from the face, like Reagan's still alive, come back. <laughs> Weed, you're just hanging out, no, hey, good time, yeah, help me. Wrap me in a blanket, give me soup. Please, someone kiss my face like you're my mother, please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Great. Great. great job. Thank you, dude. Matt Brown,